on the day one of the Big East Tournament. Seton Hall sees their season end on a heartbreaker against the ball. The final score, 66 for the Blue Demons, 65 for the Pirates. I'm Wanda Lewis alongside Chris Conley. And Chris, I mean, as I mentioned in that open, a heartbreaker loss for Seton Hall. It seemed like they had the opportunities and the game was fully in their grasp, but a foul and a block at the end of the game ended the Big East Tournament for the Pirates early on. Absolutely. Just the array of emotions that went through that last minute of gameplay. Seton Hall up five with 59 seconds left. I'm pretty sure a lot of Pirate fans were either already scheduling their hotel reservations for tonight, making sure what they were going to have for dinner tonight, and a, uh, a wild three shot by DePaul to cut it to two, followed by uh, some fouls of cutting to four, layup two, and then a disastrous foul on a, a three-point shot, giving DePaul the eventual lead, and then to be ended with a glimmer of hope on the thought of Femi Odukale's final shot getting goaltended, ultimately getting reversed. Just a, uh, a nightmare final minute ends a nightmare uh, game for Seton Hall in the Garden. As you mentioned, Seton Hall had a two-point advantage, but turned the ball over on the inbounds pass, which led to a foul on Casey and Deffel on a three-pointer shooter. He made all three points, and then with about two and some change left, Femi Odekale got the inbounds pass, took it up the court, tried to get a layup up to potentially win the game for the Pirates, but unfortunately, that one was blocked by DePaul. Here's what Sheen Holloway had to say about that final play. You know, I thought we, you know, we did everything except, you know, uh, finish. You know, he did a great job of, of pushing it, you know, and getting, and getting to the rim. Um, we work on it. We work on those special situations every day in practice. And I keep telling these guys, you know, uh, four seconds, 3.5 seconds is a lot of time. You can get places and, you know, we executed and the kid just made a good block. I thought, uh, I, thought when you, I thought when you hit the rim, it's goaltender, but I'm not an official, so I don't know. It was a game, Chris, that went down to the final play, but – Seton Hall had a lot of opportunities and a lot of things that seemed like it would have went their way, but it also didn't go their way. You look at the free throw percentage for Seton Hall, it just wasn't a great day for them when they were able to get to the stripe. Perfectly said. They shot 11 of 18 from the free throw line. Uh, you look at Tyrese Samuel, a great senior player, a player that F Seton Hall fans have loved now for several years, but ultimately going 6 for 11 from the free throw line. It burns you and it costs you badly, and it's the reason now you're going back home to South Orange versus staying it for another night in a hotel. And even in those last two possessions, a poor pass by Femi Odukale, uh, a bounce pass with two DePaul defenders. Ultimately, the reason that DePaul was able to force the turnover, if you're able to get an outlet pass uh, and try to you know, get it away from your defenders, you potentially would have a lot less, fewer time for uh, DePaul to get a shot. But... A uh, couple of bad scenarios for Seton Hall in that final minute. And, I mean, Chris, we talked about the negative with the free throws, but a uh, positive for Seton Hall was their defense. I mean, they were able to hold the Blue Demons to only 66 points. Just what was your thoughts on that as well? It was pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, Seton Hall's golden number has been 70. If, team, if opponents score over 70, it's usually lost. But if they kept them under 70, it looks like they were going to have a win. And today... We, kept, we saw at halftime, Seton Hall had a good, uh, sizable uh, holding of DePaul to only 32. Ultimately, DePaul didn't get farther from that on pace to 66. It's just those pat last two possessions end up costing them Hartley. And at the same time, DePaul really was stayed in this game with their three-point shots. Ten of 20 from the three-point line. Nearly half of their baskets came from behind the arc. Defense was pretty good for Seton Hall. The free throws was pretty bad for Seton Hall. Here's what Coach Shaheen had to talk about the different facets of the basketball game. We came out not great the first half, but the second half. I thought we came out with a lot of energy and got control of the game. And then down the stretch, we just you know, couldn't make no free throws. And then we, you know, we, we got a veteran ball team. Like, this is kind of unacceptable for me, right, because we kind of work on this all the time. Um, for us not to execute down the stretch and pull it out, and I'm, it's, it's disappointing. So once again, for Seton Hall, their Big East tournament has come to a conclusion on the first day of the tournament, again, falling 66-65 to DePaul. But, Chris, it seems like there still could be some more basketball on the horizon for the Pirates. Certainly so. Coach Holloway did not reject the opportunity of an NIT, uh, NIT invitation. And it would be something to see. I'm sure Pirate fans definitely would like to see their players play a bit more. 
Obviously, it's not the ideal tournament you want to be partaking in, but nonetheless, you're not going to ever want to say no to free basketball. As you mentioned, free basketball could still be in store for this season, Shaheen's first season, and this is what Coach Holloway had to talk about in terms of accepting an NRT invitation. If we got the opportunity to keep playing basketball, um, who wouldn't? You know, I'd, um, I'd love to. That all being said, that will conclude our coverage of the Big East Tournament here on St. Hall's Pirate Television. The Pirates fall in the first round to the ball, 66-65. But for my partner, Chris Colley, for everybody behind the scenes, thank you for tuning in to this coverage of Pirate Television. Make sure you follow us on our social media platforms, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe as well for more content. But for the final time, at least during the regular season, go Pirates.